she has to protect essentially our planet from contamination. How did you find those traits in your character? Important. I mean, she's up there for a reason. Um, she's a microbiologist. Her job, as she said, her life's work is to imagine the worst that can happen and then the worst after that and the worst after that. I mean, it's interesting what that would do with, with the person's psyche. Mm -hmm. But what's fascinating is what happens when you take away all of those borders, all of that control that happens throughout the film. Who does she actually become? What is her autopilot? What is her behaviorism? Station to control. Visual confirmation of Master of a Pilgrim. I see it. It's gonna hit you. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. How easy was it to pretend to be in zero gravity for the whole period of shooting? Well, it was hard, it was straining, it was intense. We did um, wire works, so mm -hmm. we had... Um, so it hung up in the air. Hair the hung up time. in the air, upside down. I mean, in space, there's no real upside down. There's no right angle. Um, Especially the opening sequence, I think there's a the long shot. Of it twisting and the to, kitchen yeah. becomes the sleeping pods. And How long did you take to film that? Well, I mean, it, it's sequence, day-to-day -day shooting, and then they do an incredible job editing together. But Seamus McGarvey, the photographer, and Nigel Phelps, who's done the built basically a replica of the ISS. Mm -hmm. We get to play around with gadgets. I'm wearing real spacesuits. This is what they would look like. Do you think now you can there. operate the International Definitely Space Station? Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't even try. Um, but I know yeah. there are people like... Elon Musk who want to colonize Mars already and they have people signing up. If you were to go there, let's imagine a fantastic yep. scenario. I'm imagining it. What would you take with you? What memorabilia on from Mars Earth? or yeah. would I then be on the ISS? On Mars. On Mars. Well, I mean, knowing me, I wouldn't think that I would come back again. <laughs> so I'd kind of think what Matt Damon plants and my son and... Well, he survived. No, so. <laughs> no, that's why I'm bringing him. He's been there, he's done it. Um, I'd have to bring people I love with me. I need to share the experience with someone. Um, make it more fun. Some fun games, mm -hmm. stuff to do, things to eat. You probably bring Ryan Reynolds with you. I'd probably not bring to... Ryan Reynolds with me. I'd probably bring <laughs> someone who who is actually my family member. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, just go what, with What it. surprised you about um, astronauts, what you didn't know about them prior to filming? There are so many different details that when you watch all of these videos uh, that you would have thought about, like the simple, smallest thing, like the, the, the top of their feet are uh -huh. like the soles of their feet. Because they don't walk, they always hook into things. Oh, right. So this becomes hard. There is no, nothing pulling your blood down, so your brain can actually expand the blood in your head. I mean, there's so much about your body that anatomy in space is incredible. The it's eyesight, the equalization of lying down, how your eyes correct. How you sleep. And how that. you sleep. What did you think about the movie? Please leave your comments, subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.